क्रिप्टो एपिट्री कंसिडर्स लिगेंड्स एज पॉइंट चार्जेस निगेटिव पॉइंट चार्जेस इवन इफ लिगेंड इज न्यूट्रल देन ऑल्सो लिगेंड इज लार्जर देन ऑल्सो एंड सेकंड इट कंसिडर्स विच काइंड ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन प्योरली आयोनिक इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन मेटलायन एंड लिगेंड्स and in free metal ion five d orbitals are degenerates what's the third postulates in hypothetical spherical field ligands should experience same kind of interaction to metal ion but in true sense it is not because of various geometries and therefore the orbitals will rearrange themselves orbitals will with different energies orbitals will split that is our third postulate are these three postulates clear now it is a time to learn the shapes or orientations of d orbitals because unless you know the orientations of d orbitals how interaction with the ligands is occurring will not understand therefore let us know what are those d orbitals how are they aligned or oriented what are their shapes see here the five d orbitals are represented one by one let us see d z square orbital the orbital the lobe is along z axis and if you observe as like a ring is on the saturn satellite or the donut is a food atom or you can say medu vada their ring kind of the structure remains such kind of the ring is there around the z axis or along x and y so partly it has a orientation towards x and y and major orientation is towards z axis let us consider by yellow color positive wave function and by brown color negative wave function is represented wave function is not important at this moment but orientation shape is important what's the understanding of the d z square orbital d z square orbital is oriented more towards z axis and partly towards x and y see the second orbital d x square minus y square lobes are along x and y axis perfectly along axis so two opposite lobes are with yellow color and other two opposite lobes are with brown color are you understanding d square minus y square orbital see the third orbital that's a d y z orbital the y z plane if i consider towards you the y axis and upside z axis then this will y z plane the lobes will be in between y and z axis two opposite lobes yellow color lobes are between y and z accordingly brown color opposite lobes are also between y and z so lobes are making angle 45 degree to axis to y axis and z axis so lobes are in between axis that's a d y z orbital see the next orbital d x z here also lobes are in between axis but axis are x and z means x axis to our left right and z axis upside the positive x and the positive z then in between x and z there will be the lobe similarly here lobe so what is the angle made by this lobe to the axis it is 45 degree to x and z axis so yz orbital is in yz plane xz orbital is in xz plane likewise now last orbital x y orbital it will be in x y plane x axis y axis so in between x and y there will be the lobe similarly other three lobes will be there what will be the angle by the lobe to any axis x axis or y axis it will be 45 degree what you are finding last three orbitals dxy dxz dyz those are in between axis and first two orbitals d x square minus y square and d z square those are along axis d z square majority contribution is along z axis and partly along x and y d x square minus y square completely along x and y axis d y z in between y and z d x z between x and z d x y between x and y orbitals that's our understanding of these orbitals this is very important if this imagination if these shapes are clear to you then next part interaction and accordingly energetics of various orbitals will be perfectly clear to you to make this concept clear with this model i explained to you so that concept will be more clear let us consider the red bonds z axis positive z 
negative z direction towards your right and left is x axis yellow color x axis positive direction negative direction towards your side and my side y axis positive direction of y and negative direction of y let us understand these orbitals again first orbital is d z square orbital the lobes are along z axis here plus as like donut the ring structure is there that ring structure is in this xy plane actually dxy dyj dxz three kinds of orbitals are there three pairs are possible likewise as dx square minus y square is there there should be dz square minus y square there should be dz square minus x square but those are not there combination of that dz square minus y square and dz square minus x square is our actually dz square orbital other component we are not mentioning but it is there so that ring kind of structure is in xy plane so if you have to understand this orbital is more along z axis and it is there in xy plane also not exactly x and y direction but in xy plane is that dz square orbital clear second orbital is dx square minus y square orbital it is perfectly along x and y axis so lobes will be along x axis and along y axis so it is in this xy plane and along x and y axis now see the third orbital dyz orbital where is our y axis yes towards you and towards means y where is z up and down so in between y and z here in between if i rotate that here here will be the one lobe of dyz opposite lobe will be here next lobe opposite lobe so likewise in between y and z the lobes will be there so i if i cut that yz orbital the lamina will be in this way it is a yz plane is dyz orbital clear it is not along y and z axis it is in between y and z axis now see the fourth orbital that's a dxz orbital now it will be very clear it is x axis and z axis in between x and z one lobe opposite lobe third lobe last lobe so in between x and z so what is the angle made by those orbitals those lobes to the axis so to z axis 45 degree to x axis also it will make 45 degree angle so it is in which plane it is in x z plane this plane is perpendicular to previous y z plane when water molecule was studied at that time these planes were studied same concept we have to apply here now last orbital that is x y orbital d x y orbital it is your x axis and y axis where will be the lobe along x and y no in between x and y so lobe will be between x and y making 45 degree angle to x axis or to y axis similarly opposite lobe third lobe and last lobe likewise the lobes will be in x y plane is this dx orbital clear so what crystal bilderi considers surrounding ligands whichever are there as point charges second point there is a electrostatic force of interaction ionic interaction between point charges negative point charges to so ligands and positively charged metal ion the d orbitals of free metal ions are degenerate and in spherically symmetric hypothetical field interaction will be their negative field of ligand and electrons of the d orbitals in spherically symmetric hypothetical field degeneracy is maintained but in our geometries here octahedral in other geometries tetrahedral square planar triangular trigonal bipyramidal any geometry you consider the interaction will not be uniform as is there in spherical symmetric hypothetical field therefore energy change will occur in the orbitals if you know the shapes then energy change will understand what are the shapes d z square orbital along z axis and in x y plane d x square minus y square orbital along x and y axis d y z orbital in between y and z d x z orbital between x and z d x y between x and y that's understanding if you are with then basis of crystal field theory is clear to you let us apply this basis of crystal field theory in order to describe the various geometries yes in trigonal bipyramidal arrangement coordination number is 
how can I consider the model for trigonal bipyramidal? See, I consider it is a z axis, x axis, y axis towards you, towards me, but no ligand is approaching along y axis. So two ligands are there along z axis, one ligand is there along x axis. This ligand is there making angle 30 degree to y axis. A green ligand is there which is making angle to y axis 30 degree. It's our consideration of trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. Now those 5 d orbitals we can divide in three parts. One dz square major portion along z axis. Second part dxz and dyz those have z component makes 45 degree angle to z axis. Third set dx square minus y square and dxy those are in xy plane those have x and y component. Now let us compare the interaction between dz square and dx square minus y square. dz square lobes are majority along z axis so strong interaction more repulsion energy will increase or decrease energy will increase. Now next dx square minus y square along x axis only one ligand is there. From this direction of x axis no ligand is there. Along y axis no ligand is there it makes angle 30 degree. Along y axis there is no ligand but it makes angle 30 degree. So relative to dz square here interaction is poor interaction is less so its energy will be less than that of the dz square. Let us talk about dxz and dyz orbitals dxz orbital if I consider it makes 45 degree angle to x axis but with ligand more than 45 degree with ligand more than 45 degree but with this z axis ligand it makes 45 degree angle same thing is for dyz orbital it can make 45 degree angle at least with the ligand approach what about dx square minus y square and dxy orbitals while studying triangular arrangement, while studying coordination number 3, I told you total angular separation by 4 lobes is 120 degree. For 4 lobes 120 degree, each lobe 30 degree average. So 30 degree separation is by dx square minus y square and dx square orbitals and 45 degree minimum separation is there by dxz and dyz orbitals. Where is less separation in dx square minus y square and dxy? So energy of whom will be larger dx square minus y square and dxy. So see the energy sequence. Highest energy is dz square. Experience strong repulsion. Then in order to maintain barycenter the same near barycenter energy of dx square minus y square and dxy orbitals. And below that dxz and dyz orbitals are there. Is energy sequence for triangular bipyramidal coordination number 5 clear? Let us see other kind of arrangement for coordination number 5 that is a square pyramidal arrangement in next part. As a homework question for you out of 5 d orbitals which two orbitals do experience least repulsion in TBP arrangement trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. Mm -hmm.